Welcome back to The Haunted Haven, my friends. Thank you for joining me today as we go over the Kringle Candle Christmas and the post-burn impressions of these little babies. First of all, I would like to thank everybody for your patience and your well wishes. Um, things got a little crazy here in the past couple of days to the week. Thank you for your patience. And today we're going to go over the first round of post burns for Christmas. And I have seven to go over with you. And then in the next video, we will go over the next six. I am going to, I'm in school again. So unfortunately, I think things are going to slow down in the channel a little bit, but I would really like to do a fall activities um, video, my early fall activities. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And oh, I just really, I wanna be able to enjoy the season so much and not be worried and stressed about school. So I'm trying to do that and trying to cultivate that for myself. So I think I will do like a fall bucket list and baking and that kind of thing. So keep a little eye out if you like that. So the Crinkle Candle Christmas is already out. If you decide after this post burn review that you want to go ahead and pick any of these candles up, the code for the Haunted Haven is Haunted Haven. And I have to say, my friends, thank you so much for using that code because uh, Halloween, well, we really knocked it out of the park. It was a great year for Halloween in the Haven. And I, I really have to thank you so much for that. So thank you, thank you times a million. It, it means so much to me to be able to review candles and to be able to continue to receive candles from Pringle to review. It's awesome. It's my heart's delight um, and really special. So thank you so much for your help in continuing to, to make all of this happen for, for the channel. And um, yeah, I just really appreciate your support. It means a lot. All right, I'll stop blabbering on about this, that, and the other thing. Let's get to these candle review. Okay. First one up is Cypress and Cinnamon. Um, again, I am just gonna read some of these things from my notes. So sorry that I'm looking down at my phone a lot, but it's easier for me to just do it this way. So my first impression of this, when I kind of initially, I, I, I have a, this burning in my room and I leave it burning in my room with the door closed. And so usually the first impression is the thing that hits me when I first walk through that door. So um, it's an apple smell, oddly enough for me. It's got that kind of dreadful dolly um, apple thing going on just a little bit. Not the same as dreadful dolly, but the same kind of apple feeling, uh, which I was not expecting at all. There, this is cypress and cinnamon. It's fir needle spice balsam green and wood and spice. There's no apple in this anywhere. So that was a bizarre thing. Um, and then after that initial hit, that's when the Christmas scents out, uh, comes out of this one. And I get that strong Christmas tree actually coming through. I have to say that this one, while it was burning, also got me really excited for Christmas. Uh, I just, you know, I'm not, I'm nowhere near the Christmas spirit right now, but burning this one, absolutely got me in the Christmas spirit. I, I kind of couldn't wait. So after I had a burning for a while, I really got the fir needle and balsam notes coming out beautifully. It's a very classic Christmas scent. Uh, the spice and the wood and the base come out as well. When I'm far away from it, I get that apple, again, said that similar to Dreadful Dolly. When I get closer to it, that's when I smell those fir notes. Throws really well. The strength is about a medium. I think that's, that's kind of, it, it does, when it is lit, it gives that it gives that nice Christmas tree. Um, I do get kind of all the scents and the closer you get to the candle, the more I've noticed with specifically Kringles, the more, the closer I am to the candle, the base is stronger. The further I am from the candle, the top notes are stronger. But I would say, yeah, it's a beautiful kind of classic Christmas scent and the balsam and fir and spice and wood at the bottom are beautiful. They really got me in the Christmas spirit. So there's Cypress and Cinnamon Butter Rum Cafe. Now, the, another thing to say about the throw, um, the throw on all of these was not disappointing. Um, it was they were, it was good across the board. So, all right, so now we have Butter Rum Cafe. Throw is good, strength is strong. It fills up my room and plus it fills up the living room and down the hallway. So I actually had the door open for this one for a little bit to see how far it would throw. So through my room, down the hallway. It's a beautiful fall gourmand and I enjoyed having it burning while I made my coffee in the morning. It just kind of went really nicely with that. So it's a nice like potentially fall morning scent. Sorry about the noise outside. I just wanted to have my window open today. The nut and spice creates a very nice savory base to it, but the cream and the vanilla bring it into a gourmand area. It's just a little bit sweet, but it's not super sugary. It's more creamy and it's super delicious. 
The combination of the spice, nut, and vanilla gives it that kind of distinctly fall flavor, and it's a very nice fall into winter scent. So something that like Thanksgiving time transition. It's very comforting as far as uh, gourmand scents go, and I think that's because it's not super sweet and it, le it leans more creamy and buttery. Um, I enjoy this one a lot. Like I said, I burnt this in the morning with coffee, so this would be, I think, a great fall morning scent. Uh, super strong throw on this one. So yeah, there's my thoughts. Uh, okay, so let's see. Next one is Frosted Spring. Spice of the Kringle Candles, Frosted Spice. A wonderful and warming and delightful spice scent with a very strong throw. It filled up my room easily and went down the hallway. It's just got a hint of that mint coming off of it, but it makes for a very interesting blend. The spices are just lovely in this and it's not overly sweet. The mint and the vanilla coming out in the base, they really came through on the burn. So what you get is this minty vanilla spice. It's reminiscent of some sort of baked sweet, but because I don't really think that it's sugary, it doesn't go into a super gourmand area. This would be an awesome one for a hallway or a foyer or something that people can walk into. It's refreshing and spicy, but not overly sweet. Also, if you're not a cinnamon fan, this isn't overpoweringly cinnamon. It's cinnamon with some other spices. The fur is also a little bit harder to detect, but it's there, so it's not going to be like a Christmas tree smell. The fur just lends itself nicely to that mint, and that's what's giving it this kind of fresh sensation. Yeah, super nice, and I really like this one a lot. Kind of, I think what I got on cold is kind of what happened when this one was burning as well. This minty spice, uh, it's super, super nice. I actually I'm kind of just smell this one again. Mmm. This is such a cool candle. This is so, so cool. Really like that. Now, let's go with the sleeper of the Kringles, Winter Iris, for this burning round at any rate. I, I could barely smell this when it was cold. Still, I mean, actually having lit it, it's a little bit better, but when my first impressions of this were so light, I didn't know what was gonna happen. Whoopsies, didn't know what was gonna happen, but my oh my, it did actually throw really well. So I'm very pleasantly surprised by this. It's actually throwing very well. It's been burning for about two hours and I opened the door to my surprise and I had a very strong scent greeting me. My first impression of this one was almost like a cotton, like a clean cotton scent mixed with a bit of a floral. There are no cotton or fresh scents in the actual scent in the actual scent notes, but that's kind of what I'm getting out of this. It's also a very different floral from anything that I have. I'm not sure exactly what violet smells like, but that could be what is the predominant flower here. The fruit in the mid also comes out more on the burn, which gives it just a slightly sweet note. It's just a little bit sweet, but the vanilla at the base gives it some fullness. So my first impression upon entering the room is this kind of clean cotton and floral. And that's the first thing that hit me. And then the closer that I got to the candle, the more I got more of those scent notes coming out. The vanilla and the sandalwood at the bottom gave it more of a fullness and a body. And then, yeah, it was just kind of like a clean floral, but also with a little bit more body from the vanilla and sandalwood at the base. So yeah, and then the throw was super strong on this. I could smell it pretty much, yeah, all, all through my room. So very, very interesting. This was different on the burn than it was on cold. Um, yeah, I think that, that berry came through in a way that I wasn't expecting. So the berry gives it just a little bit of sweetness, but it's, it's berry sweet, you know? And I feel like even now that I've burned it, it's changed a little bit. Like the impre like I get the vanilla and sandalwood now way stronger than I did the first time. So that's interesting. Okay. So those are the four Kringles. Let's go on to the country candles. So here comes Santa Claus. Uh, the fur notes on this, balsam fir, aromatic aldehyde, wood, and musk. I don't have a lot of notes on this one pretty much because it's, it is what it is and it's amazing Christmas tree scent. This is so good. Uh, so let's read what I wrote. Here comes Santa Claus is pretty much everything that you would want out of a Christmas tree candle. The throw was good. The smell was not overpowering. There's not that much to say out of it. It's, it's, this is a Christmas tree smell and it's fresh and, oh, it's just so beautiful. Um, I know my short, my notes on this one are short, but that does not mean that 
that doesn't mean anything. This candle is beautiful, super fresh, and then the burn prefer, per, the burn performed in the way that that I thought it would. It's it is the same, and it's beautiful. I really really liked it a lot. So there's here comes Santa Claus. Amazing. Well, I lied. I did burn Christmas in Manhattan, but I did not write any notes down and I don't want to make a guess on this one. So Christmas in Manhattan, I'm sorry, well, that, that will have to come in the second video. Sorry about that, guys. So the last one that we have is Winter Spice. Winter Spice, this candle very closely mimics when it's burning the impressions that I got on cold. The throw is strong and it easily filled up my bedroom. Again, I'm not getting a classic um, citrus out of this. So I think that the label is actually a bit misleading because there's oranges here. Um, I, I'm actually getting, like, like I said, it's kind of like a, a citrus that's like grapefruit or the berries come in and make it, they turn it into something that's a bit different, like sweeter. It could easily be the mixture of the citrus and the berry on the top that is making it lean more sweet than tart citrus. Also, again, I get those base spices of nutmeg and clove stronger than the cinnamon. I would say that the cinnamon is not an overpowering scent coming off of this one. So cinnamon is not the primary spice here. You're really going to get nutmeg and clove, which are very I was not expecting that at all, uh, and it's very interesting, and it makes for a completely different winter spice candle than probably anything you have, I would imagine. I'd, I've, I've never smelled anything like this one. So overall, I would say that the cold impressions that I had with this one are mimic very closely what it actually does when it's burning. And the last thing I said about this one is just that I had it burning for a couple of hours and kept checking in on it, so it didn't really change. I think this one also, it was pretty steady in how it performed. Um, so yeah, those are the, sorry, I thought it was seven, it's actually six. I will have detailed thoughts on Christmas in Manhattan for you in the next video. So we're gonna have seven to go in the next video. Again, thank you for your patience. Thank you for holding out with me while I recovered from my various uh, sicknesses and stresses. So I appreciate that a lot. All right, we'll be back soon with uh, the second round of post burns and also some more fall fun in the Haven. So really look forward to seeing you soon. All right, take good care. Talk to you again, bye.